Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm opening this jar of pressure canned chicken drumsticks. I pressure canned these drumsticks over five years ago. So I pressure canned them in June, 2017. Today we're gonna open this jar up, uh, look at it closely, smell it, pick the chicken off of the bones and place this in a soup that I'm making right now. I've got it started on the stove top because today is a chilly autumn day and I think soup is where it's at. Before we open this jar of chicken drumsticks, we're gonna take a quick look at an excerpt from the video I did over five years ago. I am using pint and a half jars. Now this is the Canadian version of the pint and a half jar, okay? So because of that, I have to use the process and time for the quart, not the pint. Now, because it's bone in, the process and time for a quart is 75 minutes and for a pint 65 minutes. Start by inserting meat side down, okay? And then I'm going to insert bone side down. See? There. Okay. I am now going to add a bit of bone broth. Just a bit. Let's take the jars out of the pot. Everything looks good. There you go. See, even with all the bubbling, the amount of broth I put in is just fine. And it's going to give the chicken some flavor as well. So I'm just going to place this on the other side of my kitchen. Eight pint and a half jars of chicken drumsticks. Pretty good. Give it a try. Excellent seal. I'm now gonna smell the contents of this jar. It smells fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this jar back to the counter. I'm going to empty the broth into my soup pot here, and we're gonna pick the meat off the bones. I started with sauteing onions and garlic in a bit of olive oil and butter. That's why you see it's cloudy. I've poured in some home canned chicken broth. I've added some thyme. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the broth from this jar. You don't want to waste that because definitely it will add a lot of flavor and nutrition. I forgot to mention that I added orzo to the soup, just less than a quarter so cup. We're going to start by emptying the contents of this jar into this bowl. That's exactly what it looks like when it comes out of the jar. So let's pick the meat off. There you go. Let's take a really close look. This is the chicken. This is perfect for a soup. Absolutely perfect. But basically, here you see the consistency. Perfect. Oh, 
Honestly, for the amount of soup I'm making, I think this is enough. So I'm gonna get my hands washed. Before I place the chicken and some other ingredients into the soup, how about we taste the chicken? Here we are. Home canned chicken drumsticks, that's what it tastes like. Uh, the texture is what I would expect. Um, you know, it's delicious. So you can do a lot of things with this. Although I feel for soup today, you can do chicken and rice. Uh, you can do butter chicken. Sometimes I do Thai green curry chicken. It's delicious. Over five years later, this still tastes good. I have a few more jars on my pantry shelf and I'm not throwing them out. I will be using those as well. So let's get adding some more ingredients into the soup. Okay, so we have here a jar of pressure canned celery, September 2020. And of course I'm busted here. I never labeled these jars, but I did these carrots in onion soup mix in autumn 2020. Okay, so my trick to adding items such as this that have a very soft texture is adding them at the end okay let's open up this celery there excellent i'm going to drain these off and place these in the pot now i'm not using all of the carrots Now, how about we place our chicken in? Let's give it a stir. You know, I think I'm gonna put that fourth chicken drumstick into this soup. So we're gonna let this simmer a bit because, let me show you. The orzo needs to cook up just a bit more. I'll bring you back when it's time for a taste. The chicken soup is ready to taste, so let's serve some up. The chicken is delicious. My broth is delicious. Adding a bit of butter was nice. <laughs> it was a nice touch. Let's put it down on the counter. This chicken is perfect. No problem with it. I thank you for watching.